Hi everybody, how are we doing? This is Scott. This is going to be a slightly different type of video today. Um, I just finished uh, doing a playthrough of uh, Labyrinthian. That was kind of fun. It was four chapters. <laughs> I'm going to start up another run through of The Forest uh, right after I'm done with this video. This should be a very short video. Um, I wanted to show you something. This is my Epic Game Launcher. Um, I have put in my title uh, the way to fix the error pro the error message that you get when you try to uh, install a game from Epic, and you see a thing that says error co error code six uh, p dash no uh, d p dash six. My phone I'm dyslexic. <laughs> DP-6. For those of you who are here, uh, who just want to find any way possible to get through that and fix that program and that problem, uh, this is not the video for you. Because my fix is going to be to delete the Epic Launcher. And I'm going to tell you why. So, um, if you're here because you think I'm going to show you how to fix this, uh, you need to go to one of these ass wipes uh, who will walk you through handing over administrative control of your computer to the assholes at fucking Epic Games. If that's what you want to do and you don't care, go right ahead to another video, another channel, and you will find a fix, quote unquote, for that. But I'll tell you right now, don't waste your time with the typing in bracket x86 close bracket. Uh, because that doesn't work. Okay, the only thing that works <laughs> is giving epic control, administrative control, of your entire computer. Which my guess is you don't want to do. <laughs> Let me show you what happened yesterday. They sent me this thing from, uh, from Epic. I always get this pop-up. And the, now I fixed it on, I got rid of it on my other computer, and now I'm going to get rid of it on my gaming computer. So I figured I'd just record it, me doing the same thing on the gaming computer, so you can see it. What I'm doing. This is how you fix this problem. And this is why you fix it this way. Okay? I got this pop-up saying Rage 2 was free uh, for a time uh, on Epic. And I thought, damn. Go look it up right now on Steam. It's a $60 game. Free. Free, 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 free. Right? So I said, okay, well, I'm looking for another game to play. I just finished uh, Labyrinthian. Um, I just finished uh, a couple of others before that. Um, so I said, well, you know what? Let's fuck it. Why not? And so <laughs> I went and signed up for it. And... Eventually, as you can see right here, uh, I ended up being able to download it. Let me just check and make sure this is all good. Okay, good. As you can see here, it is now ready to launch. It does not say install anymore. After the first time I clicked on it, and I got the error code DP-06. I ran into a couple of different people online talking about how to fix it. You have to go through in these different fucking folders. You have to give Epic Game Launcher admin fucking uh, access to your folders. One of which is your C drive. Complete admin control. So anybody at Epic can come in and do whatever the fuck they want as an administrator on your computer. Whatever computer programs or software that they set up in there to do whatever they want to do to your computer, they have admin control. They can admin access. They can do whatever they want. So I didn't like that. And I found another way. Another guy said that when you get to that certain window, then you can go in there and you can click where it says, uh, it's, it's giving you the, uh, the location for where it's going to uh, download the game to. You can put a bracket in there, x86, close bracket. 
and according to them, that would fix it, and it would play just fine after that. Well, uh, I did that, and it did load. It loaded, and this is what you get now. <laughs> Massive error report. And the error report, if you take a look at it, all deals with uh, not having the proper authorization. The program and basically uh, Epic not having the proper authorization, needing authorization to access certain things. Meaning that fix doesn't work. So I started looking into Epic and then I found out I'm way behind the times, I guess. But then I found out uh, that back in the day when they first came out and just popped out of nowhere with tons and tons and tons of cash and they were able to get big name fucking games to do uh, exclusive releases with them and not do it with Steam and hold off on Steam for a year, like, say, Metro Exodus, which a lot of people couldn't wait to see, to play. I was one of them. And so I got Metro Exodus from Steam. No, from X from Epic. <laughs> and I played it. I installed it and played it no problem. It never asked me to, to grant them administrative access to anything. But because I paid 60 bucks for it. Here they are giving away a $60 game, which is currently I just checked five minutes ago. Currently selling for 60 bucks. And they're giving it away for free. Why? You go back uh, to the old days when they first popped up. Somebody was doing a, a little checkup of their fucking uh, uh, Epic Games launcher. And they found something interesting. That it was data mining their own customers. And one of the things it was data mining is all your Steam account information. Your friends, your communications, what you own, what you buy, how you buy it, how often you play, what you play. <laughs> it was using that data and other data it was collecting from the computers to sell it to advertisers. And for its own purposes. The guy who ran Epic came out and made up some fucking bullshit and, and, and did a mea culpa and said, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't mean to do it. But you know he did. Well, what they're doing now is very similar to that. The reason they are putting this on, not only this game, but also their free games. The reason they're doing this is because they make money on the back end. Now, their other free games, the ones that they can actually sell, you know, like microtransactions, and they're making tons and tons of money off of microtransactions, so that's helpful. However, loading those games had the same problem. They want to mine your computer and then have access, admin access to your computer for whatever purposes they want in the future. <laughs> Everyone says, that is the next gold. Why do you think all these companies will give you free games as apps to play on your cell phone? Because they're data mining you. Yes, there are microtransactions on the back end, but most people aren't buying anything with the microtransactions. They're just playing. There's still money to be made in the microtransactions for a stupid skin or something, but still, most people are just playing. But they still do it, and it becomes it's a bigger and bigger and bigger business and in, in, in industry every fucking year. Why? Because data is the next gold. This is what fucking Epic is doing. They will eat the cost. They will cut a deal with the fucking distributor of that game. In this case, it's Rage 2. They will cut a deal with the distributor of that game. They will pay them X amount per fucking game, per fucking download. As long as, in the process, they get admin access to your computer. Now here is how I fixed it on the other computer, and here is how I'm going to fix it on this one. So you can't even fucking uninstall here. So you gotta go to add remove. 
I'm going to get rid of that fucking thing first for H2. Hang on a second. Okay, so that's just a. Uh, let's do this. Uh, can I show you? If I can't find Rage 2, it's probably hidden, so you can't get rid of it. But that's all right. Because I can do this. And what's going to happen is this I'm going to try to get rid of the Epic Launcher, and this is what's going to show you. It's going to tell you you can't do that. Watch. Here we go. Uninstall. This is the same thing I had to go through with the other one. See? It's running. Epic's not running on my computer. As you can see, Epic is not running on my computer. <laughs> God damn it, where's the delete button on this? But Epic is running on my computer. Look at that. Four applications. Web helper. They're already, they're mining my fucking system as we fucking speak. Shut them down. Then go hit uninstall. You're still going to have to go through a bit in order to do this. But you need to. Ain't no goddamn free game worth this shit. There's no game. There's no game that's worth giving somebody administrative control to your computer. No game. So if you guys are on the fence about it, I know there's people out there making YouTube videos showing you how to do this and what what folders you have to give them admin control over on YouTube, and they're getting all kinds of views because you get that free stupid fucking game, and it's gone. Because you get that free game from Epic. But I'm telling you right now, it's not worth it. Don't give anybody administrative control over your goddamn computer. They won't even tell you to do that. They'll, but they, what they do is, <laughs> a lot of times these companies, what they'll do is, they'll, they'll, it's, like, it's like certain video uh, processing or video uh, publishing websites. They won't tell you you've got to make donations to get your videos uploaded. They'll let you do some searching on the website, on, 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 on YouTube, or do your search on, on, on Google and find out, oh, this is everybody says I, gotta make, I can make a donation. Then you go make a donation, and ah, pop, there goes your, 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 your stuff is, is published. Same thing with Epic. They're not going to tell you because that would be unethical. We're going to give you a free game, but the price you pay is you're going to give us complete and total access, administrative access to your fucking hard drive. Uh, nobody would sign up for that deal, but that's the deal they're asking you to sign up for. They're expecting you to sign up for. So that's my thing. That's my video. I know it's kind of long just to say what I wanted to say, but um, that's my video. You want to fix the uh, Epic Launcher, Epic Game Launcher, error code DP-06? You want to fix it? I just showed you how to fix it. Dump Epic. There are other places out there to get video games. There's the Nexus out there to get video, play video games and get video games. But they're popping up all over the place now. Um, there's a bunch of ones out there that'll let you pretty much play for free, but they're doing the exact same thing. And that's what fucking Epic figured out. These other things are coming up, and they're letting you play and, and play online without even hardly having to download anything except for their launcher. But the, the trick is their launcher is going to fucking data mine your computer. And they're going to get all that data, and that data is going to pay for itself and pay for those games uh, long before you figure it out and you quit fucking using this system. Okay? So there you go. Unless you want to make fucking the people at Epic rich, uh, do yourself a favor. Find someplace else to get that game. And just dump the Epic launcher. I'll talk to you.